This now ruined nave is the only surviving example in England of a church used by the canons of the Holy Sepulchre, whose job it was to aid pilgrims on their way to Christ's tomb in Jerusalem. Once part of a medieval monastery known as the Priory of the Holy Sepulchre, this church represents one of only six English houses of this small monastic order. In the 11th and 12th centuries, Thetford was one of England's main towns, and contained about 10 monastic houses and hospitals, and more than a dozen parish churches. The Priory of the Holy Sepulchre was founded by William de Warren III in 1146, when he took the cross and promised to travel to the Holy Land and participate in the Second Crusade. De Warren chose the canons of the Holy Sepulchre to staff his new priory, since they were priest monks who served at churches in the Crusader Kingdom of Jerusalem, including at the Tomb of Jesus in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem City. Although the order was very small, the six canons of Thetford had several duties. Amongst these were performing the daily cycle of church services, they raised money for their brethren in Jerusalem, provided spiritual services for the people of Thetford, and by 1148 they prayed for the soul of their founder William de Warren, after he died whilst on crusade in the Holy Lands. At its peak, the church was part of a much larger priory complex, consisting of cloister ranges where the canons slept and dined, a porter's gate lodge and several agricultural buildings. When King Henry VIII ordered the dissolution of the monasteries in 1536, the Priory of the Holy Sepulchre, as one of the smaller religious houses, was amongst the first to be closed. The site was then subsequently sold off and converted for agricultural use, appropriately becoming known as Cannon's Farm.